I just, bro, I just, I just don't understand, man. Like, 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 what the fuck, man? Like, I just, it's out of my mind, you know? Like, I can't stand this shit anymore. Like, why do you have to leave YouTube right now? Like, why? Like, like you could li like leave YouTube in three weeks, maybe. Okay, like uh, may after just this week. Like, why wouldn't you react to Justin Timberlake's new album? I just don't understand it. Fuck your life. Fuck your like uh, bullshit. Just get the shit together. React to the Justin Timberlake's album. I like I <laughs> like you cannot. You lost your mind, you know, like you really just gonna sit there and pretend like this album is not out, like uh, while other reactors just gonna enjoy it to the fullest, like your babe Justin Timberlake, you know, you're one of your favorite artists, our favorite, one of our favorite artists, you know, like we grew up on his song, Sexy Back, Sexy Back, you know, Sexy Back, Love Stoned, Love Stoned, Give It To Me, featuring Nelly Furtado and Timberland. We have Crimea River, what goes around comes fucking around, you know, and Love Stone. And you're really gonna miss out on this uh, while other people are gonna take the sh like spotlight, light spot. I don't know what fucking know. <laughs> They're gonna take something while you're not gonna react to anything. Come on, man, you deserve uh, fucking Don't fucking mess with me. Stop, stop. Ow! Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, alright, I'm reacting. Relax, relax, I'm tired of you. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house, right where he belongs, uh, and we are reacting to Justin Timberlake's new album, Man of the Woods, uh, one of my favorite artists, and uh, as uh, Jamie already said, <laughs> love his uh, songs, um, he already mentioned that before, uh, let's just react to this album, man, I've heard already three tracks from here, they're all good, uh, I love them, uh, let's just jump into it, Justin Timberlake, King of the pop, basically, the legend. Man of the Woods. First reaction. Let's go. Alright, track one, filthy. And come on, come on. Hey is gonna say it's fake. Hey is gonna say it's fake. Dope song, man. Dope song, right? <laughs> so cool, so smooth and sexy. All right, track two, Midnight Summer Jam. Okay, nice instrumentals. Like like South Asian shit. What? Hey, those old vibes from JT, man. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen because uh, I'm reading the lyrics, trying to understand better what's going on, you know, in the in the song, the meanings. Damn, this this instrumentation, this like Pharrell and Timberland, they did so good on uh, producing this album. I know, like I've heard four tracks, right? I mean, they all, all of them so far, they are great. I love them. Oh damn! Wait, I don't remember how to call it in English. What instrument is that? Let me know in the comments. They spiced it up even more with this instrument. Like that thing? <laughs> the lyrics are uh, very simple on this song. It's just, uh, hey, uh, we're having fun. Uh, 
you know, hey, all of the locals are happy to get out and meet a new face. We dance in the circles, on and on. Uh, you know, like even the old folks uh, come out and rock with us, basically, and we just don't stop dancing to the music till the next day. Uh, uh, it's just a nice, you know, like having a uh, good time uh, music, and that's what I like, what, what I love. Last thing I wanted to, just like having fun stuff, but the intro, uh, I didn't really understand because like, he's like, you all can do better. Oh, cannot do better than this. Act like the South ain't the shit. I'm really like not understanding like why he's sort of uh, not satisfied with the fact with the uh, attitude towards South. Like, what's wrong? <laughs> let me know. Let me know in the comments. But uh, let's go to track three. Sauce. <laughs> Feels like we are at the bar, you know, like that country feel. It kind of exists there with that groovy guitar as well, bass. It's like we're wearing hats and like in Texas we are dancing, you know, like in the, in the bar. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff for sure, man. I'm sort of aiming for uh, track by track analysis, sort of, but uh, this one, I have nothing to say <laughs> about this uh, track analysis. Just uh, again, um, you know, in lyrical context, it's not that difficult. Uh, it's just, uh, again, having fun, but this time is about more getting uh, sexual with a girl, you know, like, hey, what are you doing? There, girl, let's dance together, you know? <laughs> right, throw away that phone you're having right now and just let's, let's just dance, you know? So, uh, just sing with the hot sauce, uh, doing, saying this kind of stuff in this track. Uh, in, sound, like, in terms of sound, in terms of uh, the song itself, the feel, I love it, I love it. I love uh, what is happening over here right now. Uh, I mean, it's not 2020 experience, uh, but it's not bad as well. Like it's really, it's really good. Like it's different uh, and it's good in its own way. Um, so fantastic. I'm enjoying what I'm hearing. It's just like it's so good to listen to Justin Timberlake finally after uh, such a big pause, you know. So track four, Man of the Woods. Oh, there's a clip. There's a clip, by the way. I forgot. I wanted to watch this film. Let's watch together, by the way. Uh, react reaction to a video as well. <laughs> okay. Okay, Justin Timberlake is. Uh... Okay. He's out there in the forest. <laughs> Your pride. That's awesome. This one is completely different though. This is not what you expect from Justin, you know? And I honestly don't know if I'm liking this for now. I mean, the visuals are good, it's just... I'm not feeling this song at all. Maybe I'll like it more after because that's what happened with me when I was listening to Say Something. For the first time. Oh, is that Jessica? Yep, Jessica Bill. Nice, gorgeous Jessica. They're looking really nice. They're looking really cute together. I like this part, by the way, more. The, the transition was nice. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a, it's a nice track. I mean, yeah, not not bad, but it's just like honestly, I don't know, man. Like, you really have to listen to it more, probably to like to vibe with it more. Just for the first time, it's really kind of sort of odd and sort of silly um, at points. The only thing is about like Men of the Woods album. It's just I'm not sure how. How Justin is man of the woods? <laughs> like, uh, 
where he was born I, I gotta research on that probably like what city maybe he was living uh in the farm before or like what is it why he is when when of the woods okay justin timberlake uh born in memphis tennessee okay okay makes making more sense a little bit tennessee johnny cash was there was presley it's just like I'm, I'm not sure about like his his background his childhood i know that uh, this album like he's relating himself to this album a lot uh meaning uh, he is writing his own songs uh, about himself, about his family, about his son. Uh, it's just a very personal sort of album. And it's just like, I'm really, all I want to know like is how <laughs> you are a man of the woods. That's, that's all I uh, want to understand. Hopefully we'll get answers um, in the lyrics, uh, maybe, uh, in the upcoming songs. Right, track five, higher, higher. Success is cool. Money is fine. Yep. But you're special. Nice. Okay. I like it. Um, I'm not a fan of country, to be honest, at all. Like, I'm, I don't listen to country music. But um, what Kesha did, for example, in Rainbow was great. Uh, what Beyonce was doing with Daddy Lessons was also good on Lemonade. Uh, this, like this album right now, like um, there are typical country songs like this one, higher, higher. But I'm. I'm vibing with it, I like it. Let's go uh, to track six, Wave. Man, this melodies, these melodies are so well written, man. I love it. The consistent thing about this album is the transitions after a particular amount of time in the song there is for sure should be a transition to something else just to keep it interesting you know Ooh. oh I love that whistle Just like I did, just like I was excited to listen to this. And album. you should cross out February uh, first on my Rick and Morty calendar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. Um, track seven, Supplies, by Justin Timberlake. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, nine out of ten for me, as I already uh, mentioned before. Let's check it out. Okay. Those snows like da, 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 dum, dum, dum. Yeah, right here. <laughs> it's just so dope. 
so beautiful. And this one? Oh! Eargasm, man. Eargasm. Do you feel it? Like, do you feel it? Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys, Morning Light. Pretty interested about this one. How it's gonna turn out? Let's see. Mm, it's it's fine, but nothing special for me for now. Part of me is paralyzed. Yeah, that's a pretty cool lyric over there. I'm just in love with you. Honestly, this one didn't strike me at all. Um, I wasn't a fan of it. Uh, even though I love Alicia Keys, it's just uh, the melody itself, the song itself wasn't that interesting to be honest. Uh, the lyrical content as well. Yes, they are, they love each other. That's cool. Uh, I love that, but um, it's just pretty pretty basic you know <laughs> nothing really interesting we are, we've heard a lot of lyrics like that before they are not going beyond usual you know to actually get you interested a lot in what's happening in the lyrics but again it's just i, I feel like the sonically it was just it wasn't the like the best decision uh, because sonically it's just like not really that appealing, not really that interesting. It's a, not 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 appealing. It's appealing, but it's just like not interesting, you know. Uh, but say something is more interesting, featuring Chris Stapleton, uh, country artist over here. Uh, it's a good song. I like it. So far, man, I just love the album. I like <laughs> the instrumentals, the melodies, the, the sonically is just appealing, very appealing to me. Man of the Woods, and it's just like sticking to its name. The sound of it, it's nice. Uh, there are some good uh, experimental stuff right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> stuff as well, like filthy, like supplies. Well, supplies was more country feel like with the strings like it was it was dope and um, uh, a lot of other tracks like higher higher midnight summer jam sauce it's just like they're all fucking make sense and they're dope so road <laughs> tracks and hers interlude when i wear a shirt it feels like Best lyrics over here, man. <laughs> or a girl. <laughs> Best lyrics. Hers. Interlude. Love it. for that like yeah that was dope that was fantastic <laughs> just that interlude was ooh, on point on point you know JT um, uh, usually provides that uh, sultry feel you know like he is very sultry uh, and we're getting that feel again from him uh, songs like cry me river songs like uh, what goes around comes around it's just that JT will love, uh, you know, suit and tie, strawberry bubble gum, uh, mirrors. It's just like about love, about like feeling sexy. Uh, that lyrics with 
with your significant other uh, it's just <sighs> so good so good man I'm glad that he brought it up over here like you felt it the most over this interlude uh, from this lyrics it was great it was great truly truly great track 11 flannel I just can feel hands, Pharrell's hands on this track. It is his production, like for sure. This is so beautiful. I love this track. I love this track. The lyrics are referring now to the winter and like keeping each other warm. Is this again another transition to something completely different? Do you see it? Oh, again. Let me, let me, let me just give you some idea. Uh, feeling, I'm feeling like I'm having a theory over here. Okay, so uh, track one, filthy, also ended with this like woman saying, "Do you feel it?" and stuff like that. I feel like this final track over here, it was ref referencing uh, and giving you imagery of winter, of cold weather, hey, like, and the melody is also like, su we're supporting that, you know, like, it's nice, it's, it's cold, but it's nice, you know, like, it's like a family atmosphere, you're in your house, uh, keeping each other warm, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the he and Justin Timberlake has in the cover, it's like half, half, you know, like it's split into two, two sides. There's like a cold side at the top, you know, like you can see the roots uh, have being on, you know, uh, like snow is on the win uh, is on the roots basically, you know, it's winter time. And you have sort of summer. Uh, Justin Timberlake, Justin Timberlake being on summer and like working in the forest, uh, you know, with the hammer, you know, like uh, with the woods. Um, I don't know how to call it in English, unfortunately. That the those guys, but uh, yeah, and I feel like I'm not sure yet because I haven't listened to other tracks uh, from 11 to 16. I mean, from 12 to 16, but I feel like the first 10 were sort of. Uh, in the summer, the tenth being an interlude transferring us from winter to from summer to winter. I'm sorry, yeah, from summer to winter. Now we are in the winter part of this album, which is kind of cool, you know. Like, it's it's if it's actually like that, if it was meant like that, I'm pretty surprised. I'm pretty um, pleased that they, you know, brought into this um, sort of idea like that I like it track 12 Montana wait not track 12 <laughs> hold on let me finish this spawn of flannel Montana track 12 again now dancing anymore I'm just enjoying the music you know I just can't like uh, it doesn't mean that when I dance I'm not enjoying the music it just means that I'm just like inhaling all the dope sounds like do you hear this stuff do you hear this 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 fire fantastic awesome spectacular <laughs> what else can you ask this song man this song is so nice so groovy so sexy Guitar work. Who is playing the guitar all the time in this uh, fantastic record? I don't know his phone number. Contact him and let him play in this room 24 hours straight. I, 
cannot resist dancing to this one, that was so dope, man. in living off the land again like windy you know like it's cold again yeah I feel like they really, really were aiming for that effect summer and then winter oh, man this this acoustics instruments like shakers whatever strings guitars bass Drums, everything, synthesizers, roads, everything is on point. I'm recognizing this piece by Pharrell. It was on No One Never Real Dice album. This track 14, probably one of my favorites, honestly. Like, I mean, as far as the, <laughs> there are so many favorites at this point, like so many dope tracks on this album, and uh, but the lyrics were like they were striking me, um, if I'm actually using this word correctly, but uh, they they're really good. Like Justin in this song, "Living Off the Land," is showing how how simple a man he actually is. Like despite of the fame and stuff. Uh, saying like you have to be comfortable with yourself because that's all there is there is you and nature and then uh, you know about he's talking about the lessons the wilderness he's talking about uh, sometimes it's hard to back up the bills on the credit card uh, sometimes like and he's also speaking spitting some truth basically on the relationships as well you know see the easy thing to do is the hardest thing to do you just open yourself up so the truth could come through oh man this this lyrics are mwah, mwah, they tight spaghetti you know like somebody touched my spaghetti <laughs> kind of stuff uh, but like it's just oh man this album is so good so good a uh, saint or a sinner the loser can be a winner with a plan you know this is hot sauce. This is hot. You're hot, JT. Your songs are hot. Amazing songs. Track 15, the hard stuff. And the, and the guitar sound. You know, like, they're doing that maneuver. It's cool. Here, right? Like, they're playing it and then, like, I'm a beginner, don't judge me, but they are playing and they're like using this this part. Track 16, last track, Young Man. Dead dead. Okay. Yep. Teaching his uh, kid with first words. Man, I'm, 
I had a lot of fun with this album. A lot of fun, a lot of dope tracks on this thing. That was, that was cute and that was a great album. Well, let's give it a final thoughts. Justin Timberlake's Man of the Woods. Man, first of all, the production. The production is on point, as always. Man, I just love the fact that Timberland and Justin Timberlake all the time, you know, they work together and they always create some fire. Uh, I just enjoy Timbaland's production, and his vision in music. Um, he's one of the greatest out there for sure. I uh, really enjoy his music. Uh, and they, there's a chemistry between these two. Incredible chemistry. And Pharrell <laughs> only added the flame uh, into that um, production. These three men definitely did a great job on this album. Also, uh, another thing, Justin Timberlake's performances were also great as well. Justin Timberlake's just vocals, you know, like they are pure gold. I wasn't feeling about the country, you know, how it's gonna work out. I was, I was doubting that I would love it for sure, this album. Uh, even though the singles were great, I was just hoped that the album is not gonna flop. And it didn't. Thank God. <laughs> I like oh, one disappointment last year had me enough. Eminem's revival. I'm talking about uh, waiting for it so long, and it did disappoint. This didn't disappoint, and I love this fact. I love that I was able to enjoy a lot uh, this album. The songs are great, fantastic. Only song maybe like morning light and um, I mean again Man of the Woods even though I kind of sort of said that it's kind of uh, la 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 50-50 <laughs> I mean th this songs in the context of our album it's gonna I'm sure they're gonna grow on me so <clears throat> fantastic job Jason Timberlake um, he is going back to his roots as I said um, he's talking about his son as we talked about, uh, as we saw in the last track, um, he of course the soul tree JT is also there uh, with his fire flame lyrics about love, uh, with you know about relationships also there as usual. Uh, you will get it, but you will also get um, some experimental tracks like filthy, uh, and also some uh, tracks like. Man of the Woods, where he shows himself in a new way to the world as basically typical, you know, country guy <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, I, yeah, this project is dope. This project has a lot to offer. I'm glad that I reviewed it. I really enjoy this fact. If I missed it out, you know, if I uh, missed out the opportunity. To react to JC's album, like I would not, I wouldn't forgive myself <laughs> for that. Thank God I did. But we're gonna end it on here. Thank you guys really for watching. Thank you all the for all the support. By the way, uh, the comments you left were great, truly amazing, uh, really supportive, and uh, you know, the, you guys showed me that you know there are people who enjoy my content, and it's it just feels fantastic. Thank you, thank you a lot. I'm not gonna let you down, uh, in April for sure I will be here, don't worry about it, like, as I said, two months, not more for sure, I'll come back, so, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's sad to say goodbye, <laughs> but I'll have to, <laughs> hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel to stay, uh, you know, just for the sake of staying connected with the Bob. Um, even though he will not, I will not release uh, new videos in, in these two months. Uh, but you can check out my older content. Uh, I've done a lot of videos, um, so check it out for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next ones in the future, hopefully in April. So stay tuned. Wait. It's just a